Hi, welcome to Global One Media. Today I'm joined by Leonard Van Betu, who's the president and CEO of Avila Energy Corporation, which is an emerging CSE listed corporation with an expanding portfolio of 100% owned and operated oil and natural gas production, pipelines and facilities, and is a licensed producer, explorer and developer of energy in Canada. So I, Leonard, thank you for joining us today from Calgary. How are you? Very good. Good morning. Thank you for this invitation. So to start off, uh, could you give us a brief overview of yourself, of the company, and how everything started? Well, I've been in the sector for over 30 years. And in 2016, with uh, very, the down cycle, I took a step back and uh, got involved with Avila. And uh, upon recapitalizing the company, took a very uh, deliberate step forward on how we are going to move forward within the sector. We still certainly enjoy operating in the sector and understand and respect the uh, ecosystem that we are operating in and, and our needs to uh, adapt to the transition that's going forward in the business. And that was the foundation for continuing on with the business after doing a, a long analysis of uh, how we could be uh, a kind of, uh, mover within the sector. Excellent. So what can you tell us about the, the company's unique story? Uh, and you know, what about your current oil and gas projects in Canada and why should investors be paying attention? Uh, well, early on, we uh, took a very deliberate approach to the operation and respected the, the fact that we had to be uh, property capitalized and able to move and adapt to what is uh, now becoming obvious, a very uh, uh, fluid business environment. Uh, certainly, the sector as it sits today uh, only emphasizes the point that we are concerned about when we first got started over five years ago. So as the, the market adopted and of course with COVID, that even uh, took a lot more pressure on us, put a lot more pressure on us. And uh, we had to uh, you know, find our muscle there in terms of how we could operate and continue to flourish even with uh, those types of things being put upon us uh, where we had to operate remotely, uh, maintain a higher level of safety and continue on in the operation. So, uh, you know, it's been a, a test of our metal here for the past uh, five years. And now uh, with uh, those deliberate steps that we took uh, some time ago, they're starting to become uh, an asset for the company that certainly we rely on on a daily basis. That's great. Um, and um, so, Leonor, with everything that is going on right now in the news, uh, with, their, in, with the energy crisis in Europe, uh, the gas and oil market booming. Uh, so what is the impact of all of that on Avila Energy? And would you say it's a net positive for, for the company? It certainly is a net positive. The, you know, the obvious is true for the commodity pricing that we're receiving and, and how that's allowing us to build out our business. But it also is making it easier for us to distinguish ourselves from your average oil and gas producer in the fact that we're looking towards becoming an integrated operator and are certainly doing so and reinvesting in on that regard. And uh, so, you know, the stresses and strains that the consumer is experiencing right now is uh, rolling in nicely to making it easier for our message and our, our plan of evolving and growing within the industry a little bit more obvious. Right. So uh, about that, can you tell us, you know, more about Avila Energy's plans to become an integrated low cost carbon neutral energy producer? Yes, you know, for us, uh, uh, we're all a, a suite of engineers and, and myself with a geophysical background have certainly a much broader uh, understanding from my international experiences. So it's not, we're, we've chosen to operate in Canada because of the very stable environment that we have here in terms of uh, economics. But uh, we do understand how we influence and have to operate within a global market. And as such, uh, you know, that gives us a little bit more stability to, to move forward uh, in that regard. And one of the key elements is, is if that we want to be a sustainable business, uh, we have to be uh, able to adapt to the environmental requirements, uh, not just that's being imposed on the industry, but is the right thing to do. And ultimately, you know, what the consumer is going to be expecting of the marketplace uh, once we get over some of these volatile 
uh, events that are going on right now. Very nice. Uh, yeah, so for us, uh, by becoming a, in, introducing and utilizing carbon capture and, and carbon sequestration, uh, it enhances our operation and allows us to proceed and grow within the uh, confines of what uh, governments are imposing on us and more broadly what the, what the, you know, the world community is imposing on the energy sector. So, uh, you know, we embrace it and we're moving forward aggressively in that regard. Very nice. So what, uh, as a last question, what exciting uh, Avila Energy Catalyst should investors be looking out for in the coming months? Well, with our recent listing on the, uh, on the, Canadian Stock Exchange, that's certainly providing us uh, access to more capital and liquidity. But more importantly, we already have a very clean balance sheet. So with that, we're able to expand into uh, Northeast BC here in the future. And we hope to be able to speak more to that here in the coming days and weeks. And with that, uh, you know, we're, we're, we have a very good portfolio of uh, oil and gas assets that uh, right now are very conducive to our carbon capture and sequestration plans. But we also know that natural gas is the transition fuel of the future. It leads into hydrogen. And uh, uh, with some recent events that we're going to be uh, rolling out, uh, we expect that the uh, the uh, investor and the community at large will become more uh, inclined to take a serious look at us. And, and we look forward to that, uh, then, uh, everybody embracing what we're up to. That's amazing. Thanks a lot, Leonard, for all the information and for your time today. Uh, we definitely look forward to hearing from Avila Energy and to see the next updates and developments. Thank you very much. I look forward to talking to you again.